on the day of the Pentecost. <laughs> it was all on one accord. Ooh, being on one accord. You know what? Thank God for another day. When we talk about being on one accord, and it's just amazing to me how so many people can't get on one accord in their own home, on their jobs, in their church. It's just sad and it amazes me because people are so stuck on power, stuck on titles, that they don't forgot about what the real focus is. On the day of the Pentecost, they was on one accord. Why we can't get on one accord in our houses? Why we can't get on one accord in our churches, on our jobs? You know what? And I always say this like this because when you talk about being on one accord, I always like to tie that in with, and all things get an understanding, like the Bible teaches us. And then it also tells you, do things in decent and in order. So when you have order, you have structure, you have an understanding, it shouldn't be that hard not to be on one accord because our only focus is God. And when you're taking the focus off of God and putting man and woman in position over God, there is no being on one accord, and it's going to fail. And it's amazing to me because I, want, I would love to see everybody just get on one accord, but these days, down here in this life, you don't never hard to see too many people being on one accord. And all I'm saying is by being on one accord, you know, if somebody looking at this and don't know what I'm talking about, we, we should be on one accord. We should be doing things together. We should have the same focus for when it comes to God. You know, we are all going to have our disagreements and different opinions, but our focus should still be God. Big shout out to my man, Minnie Man. That's why, Minnie Man, your videos are so encouraging, man. Keep up the good work and let God keep using you. We trying to get this word across because we got a lot of lost people out here. That's why we have to be on one accord so we can help our other brothers and sisters learn how to be on one accord. But that's why I say you got opinions and disagreements, but... Still, a whole lot of us ain't going to never agree on the same thing because everybody got different beliefs and was raised different. But when you talk about being a Christian and being born again and saved and, and filled with the Holy Ghost, you know how people like to say all this stuff. I just say it all in one, being saved. Let me just say it like that. But when you talk about being saved and when you get the, get the leadership in churches, it should never be where we are not on one accord. You know what I like to do a lot? I look at animals, and I watch the animal channel a lot because, you know what? Animals will teach you how you're supposed to be. I know somebody looking at me saying you're crazy for saying that. You can watch some animals and learn a lot because I like to go outside and just look at God's creation because I see message off in everything. And, and I was cutting the yard the other day, and I just, you know, it just a thought came to me when I ran over an ant bed but wasn't even looking when I ran over it. And you, you notice when you run over an ant bed or an ant pile, you notice in that same day that they'll have another house almost right next door. Not if it if it's not in that same spot, but the ants be on one accord, y'all. When you watch an ant, they all they all posse up together. And if you knock their house down, they go grab everybody else <laughs> and they rebuild another house. Ooh, what if we can get like ants and, and help build the kingdom of God like that? Not only that, but if you watch some ants, when they carrying their food, they might find a big old bug out there ten times bigger than them. But you will see them. They'll throw the bug on top of all of them, and you'll see a long line of ants walking with their food on the top because they all know they're finna get ready to eat. What if we can just get on one car like the animals? You can go to the lake and see the birds that flock together. When it's time to get cold, they all posse up and they leave together. It don't never be one pretty much left behind because if he see everybody else going, he go with them. They don't want a card. If we could just get on one accord in these churches, these churches would be way further than what it is. If we could just take self out of the way. If we quit getting stuck on titles and quit wanting power, we could get on one accord. Like the day of Pentecost, I just got to say it again. They was on one accord. But you know why you can't get on one accord? Because if one person is shouting, somebody else looking at them and wondering why they're shouting. Man, or they judging them. She ain't shouting for real. She faking and shaking. You ain't gonna never get on one accord like that. Or you mad somebody done played the song too long. 
It's, you know what, in church, you're going to always find somebody that finds something wrong with, with everything. It's never, it's always somebody not satisfied because it's not pleasing to them. Well, first of all, I got a news flash for you. Somebody looking at this video, it ain't about you. I say this all the time. We are not trying to please each other. Our goal is to please God. So if we can just learn how to get on one accord. It's a blessing, y'all. I'm telling you. And things will work a whole lot smoother. That's why I say it's not that hard. If you think about it, it is really not that hard. Because if any, if people can learn to remove self, it is not that hard. You know, so what if I disagree with somebody? That's why I say, oh, I'm going to disagree with you, but I'm not going to argue with you. To me, it's a little bit of difference. I disagree if it's something I don't like, but that ain't going to stop me from loving you. That's not going to make me fall out with you. And that's not going to make me think that my idea is better than your idea. Because we all bringing good ideas to the table. We are all different and in, in, in seeing things different and, and it can help God's kingdom. But we got so many people that don't want to hear your opinion. That's why we ain't going to never get on one accord. We can't remove self. I and that I mentality. I did this. You know, I did this and, you know, I, I'm going to keep I'm gonna keep it up like this. I really don't need your help, but that's a good idea. You got to get on one accord. You got to get on one accord. I don't know no any other way to put it. If we don't get on one accord, how will our church grow? Why do you think so many churches split up and then somebody might have a church right across the street? You know what, in Dallas, and I'm not talking about my city. I love Dallas so much. I'm just speaking real talk on this. You have at least... In some neighborhoods, you have at least 10 churches on one street. On my street alone, I can go, I mean, not my street, but I can go right across the street over there. And we got about five or six churches on one street. And don't none of them never associate with each other. And half the time, somebody done got mad and left and took a few members to start up their own church. Because we can't get on one accord. And as long as we can't get on one accord, we are not going to be any good to God's kingdom. So let's learn how to work with each other love each other, and learn from each other, and take self out of the way, and get on one accord. Love everybody. Be blessed.